Good morning, everyone, and welcome back for more World of Warships Wednesday. As you can see, I'm sailing in my Tier 6 USS Ranger. As you'll be able to see in a moment, I also have a pink team killer status. That was uh, some torpedoes that I fired from a destroyer, and then a teammate sailed into them at the extreme end of their range with, uh, I think, my Akatsuki or something. I don't know. Just one of those things where you don't even bother sending a warning because the torpedoes have been fired so much earlier ahead of time that you, with no enemies anywhere nearby, that you figure there's no way a teammate's going to sail into those and then someone surprises you. Anyway, as the battle got started, I uh, re kind of set up my ship to take it the long way around here and uh, just make a big looping circle to keep my ship moving just in case the enemy carriers, as you can see it's a double carrier battle, so just in case the enemy carrier force does a long ways around strike as I am about to do and finds me. So unfortunately my teammate here in his carrier is temporarily AFK but he will join in the battle before too much longer so ends up not being uh, the end of the world although I was a little concerned at first. So I sent my fighters in to uh, patrol over near where the Atlanta was so that if they run into trouble they can duck, duck back to the Atlanta quickly for the Atlanta's anti-air capabilities. And you can see at least two enemy fighter groups and then three. Now I know some of the Japanese carriers can bring three fighter groups in, but when I saw four I thought, okay, that's got to be both, uh, both of our carriers. And unfortunately, I seem to be the only carrier on our team right now. But I'm going to send my car my fighters in as bait and then drop them back across the Atlanta, who's probably been spotted. But I'm hoping that I can draw some of their fighter force in to uh, get obliterated by our Atlanta before uh, I'm trying to take on four different enemy fighter groups solo with one single fighter group. Because my guys are just not going to last that long against that. Nor is my strike group, which I'm really trying to keep their fighters occupied and distracted up north so that my strikers can slide in below them. Anyway, I managed to uh, spot an enemy Fubuki here and uh, hopefully keep him spotted for our Atlanta to not get killed by his torpedoes. And then I all sort of had an opportunity to get in and go after the strikers there, but uh, yeah, not really. As uh, the enemy fighters were quite quickly in to uh, defend their friends. So you can see my teammate in his carrier is back in the battle and uh, is providing some aircraft as well, so I'm not the only one. So at least the enemy fighters have more to be distracted by as my strike group is making its way down around the edge of the map. So far undetected, I believe. And I'm going to try and get my fighters in and catch their torpedo planes on the way back out of the battle as my teammate and his carrier is going to get a couple of fighter squadrons tied up there up north above the Fuso and the Fiji. So I set up for a strafing run on the enemy torpedo planes and managed to get just one of them as my strafe goes just beyond them somehow and doesn't uh, manage to catch them in. Although my guys did kind of get lined up for a decent run right behind them and then naturally they missed the strafe somehow. So now it becomes a case of run back up to the Atlanta and get behind some friendly anti-air protection. And then I sort of forgot about my fighters as my, um, well, I actually set them up to tie up the uh, enemy fighters over the top of the Atlanta, and then, lo and behold, my strike group discovers the Kaga, and it's time to forget about my four fighters and concentrate on my strikers. I didn't get quite as much help from the Atlanta as I wanted up there, but uh, thankfully my strikers did a fantastic job here, as you'll see. Approaching target. 
Returning to ship. Real good hits with the first group. Decent hits with the second group. And then my torpedo planes really, really pulled off a good strike here. And then, unfortunately, a little bit too late, I find the enemy carrier... The second carrier is AFK, although four torpedo hits on the Kaga sealed their fate. And uh, on, all I could do really about the Hiryu was just mark him and send my fighters down there to hopefully uh, catch up to him. And he's completely AFK. So I've got to wait for my guys to get all the way back north again and rearm. Although I didn't lose any aircraft in the strike, which is also nice. So pretty good start there for the uh, first strike that I sent down. And the team didn't even really do too badly in the meantime either, which sometimes when you send a long strike all the way around the edge of the map to try and snipe the enemy carrier at the start, your team suffers for it. But we didn't do too badly there. It was a five to four loss, and without the carrier, it was a four. It was an even one to one ratio, four ships lost on each side. But at least I did get in there and take out the carrier and half of their carrier force, and the other carrier was AFK. So so much the better. That gave the rest of our team quite a bit of freedom to move about the map as they chose. My strikers are making it back to the carrier and rearming, and I'm going to push my carrier a little closer to the battle as quickly as I can here. Now you can see, unfortunately, the enemy carrier captain has made it back to his computer chair and is re-involved in the battle, and sadly I won't be able to just send another strike straight down the middle, undefended and unprotected, and get in and get a double kill on the enemy second carrier, but it was worth a try. I'm still sending my strike group right down the middle after him though, because if I can get in there and take out the second carrier, I've just got pretty much free reign to go after all the enemy ships that remain. So I set my fighters up to patrol for the enemy strike group, which I had not seen on the map until just now. So rearranged my redirected my fighters down to give the Atlanta some cover and they're unfortunately they are nowhere near going to make it in time to help protect the Atlanta. Now the Atlanta's got pretty good AAA, obviously, but there's only so much you can do against a concentrated uh, attack there. Even though he had some pretty sick torpedo beats going on. He's also facing down a Congo and a Bayern by himself, and uh, that's going to be tough, with a Belfast and a Konigsberg apparently shooting at him as well. Although he's doing a great job lighting up the enemy carrier. Now, I should have gone after the battleships that were threatening our uh, Atlanta here. But I really wanted to get rid of the enemy carrier to give myself total freedom of movement. And that's that wasn't really good for me. I should have... I definitely should have gone after the battleships first. But I did get a really good torpedo launch here with my torpedo planes to threaten both the Congo and the Bayern. Too late to help our friend the Atlanta, unfortunately, but watch these hits on the Congo. Unfortunately, it was two more torpedo hits on him than I needed. And uh, one of my bomb squadrons got just ruined by the uh, AAA on the Bayern and the enemy fighters, but at least we did finish off the enemy carrier. And it was the Atlanta who burned out the enemy carrier, so while I should have done more to save him, at least he died taking down the enemy carrier, and that did free up our carrier aircraft for free reign across the battlefield, and we've got a 7-3 to three advantage here on the uh, map now. So we're well ahead despite having only one of the captures, but thankfully the capture zones don't really matter as much in in uh, World of Warships as they do in War Thunder, so. So we switched that around rather quickly. And I relaunched my strike package to go after the Belfast here. 
even though he's about to drop as much smoke as he possibly can. And I'm gonna send my fighters down to do a little bit of a cheap score cleanup on the uncontrolled enemy air assets left. And something else that I love about World of Warships, I've mentioned it before, but if you've probably, most likely you've probably never seen any of my World of Warships videos, is that everybody recognizes Orange Fan as being from Syracuse in World of Warships because they have no idea who anybody else is named Orange anything, so... It always makes me happy when people see my name in World of Warships and just immediately assume that it means Syracuse, which is what it means. Unfortunately, I got a little bit of extra team damage here while I was focused away as uh, an Iron Duke sailed into me, but oh well, what can you do? It just means I didn't get... I took one extra battle to get the uh, team kill penalty cleaned off of me. I did get some nice tidy airplane kills to uh, finish off what was left of the Hiryu's carrier group and my bombers and other strikers started arriving over the head of the enemy ships. My dive bombers did some excellent work in this battle, which I am not entirely used to because they don't always do that for me. See, the Belfast is taking one of the capture captures back, which isn't really going to do much for the enemy team, honestly, at this point. And we've got quite a few ships focusing shots in on the Bayern, as well as some pretty darn good-looking torpedoes right there that finished him off with the Hatsuharu. Now, the Bayern was able to get a counter kill on our Hatsuharu who sank him, but those were some pretty darn good torpedoes. Now you can see the Belfast has just got a little bit of health left and I've got a bomber squadron and a torpedo squadron coming in behind him. And I've got a pretty darn good lineup on him for Approaching target. the uh, the island that he's kind of trapped behind here. And as soon as he doesn't clear this other island, he's got nowhere to go to avoid these torpedoes except sail right towards them. And I have got a great lineup with the four torpedo planes left in the squadron, and there's just about no way they were going to miss here. Returning to ship. And that'll do it. We Only took one torpedo, I was going to get at least three hits there. I think just three hits, but that did it. An enemy cruiser sunk to finish the battle, 116,000 damage. Three ships sunk, a whole bunch of aircraft shot down, a lot of cheap aircraft shot down too, but also a lot of money. And other than that, a high caliber right at the very end of the battle, too, which may have been something that you missed, but it was right as I killed the uh, final cruiser there. And good enough for a second place. I was glad the Atlanta got the first place because I probably should have done more to help him. But you can see severe amounts of damage on the Kaga, all of it, and a lot on the Bayern, and then not too bad on the other two ships. And I actually made a profit, which is nice without a premium account. And that'll do it. I really love my aircraft carriers and World of Warships. I just wish that the American Air craft were better but good enough for this battle we'll see you guys next time thanks for stopping by and checking this one out have a great day everybody